Have you ever hurt yourself and have had to take a painkiller as a result? Well, I have, and I feel relieved after eating it. But this led me to ask myself two questions. One, how are these drugs able to produce such therapeutic effects? And two, why do we only take specific amounts of the medicine at specific times? Shouldn't a higher amount of medicine cure you faster? Well, the answers lie in the magnificent world of pharmacokinetics. Pharmacokinetics, or PK, is a science that describes how a drug travels and interacts with the body and is mainly defined through four stages absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. Now it begins with absorption, where the drug is swallowed, allowing it to travel down the esophagus, get dissolved in the stomach, and finally be absorbed by the small intestine. These nutrients then travel to the liver. Now the liver is basically a police officer and tries to stop unknown particles from entering the bloodstream. As the nutrients from the medicine enter the liver, it tries to deactivate or metabolize them to prevent them from entering the bloodstream. However, it cannot metabolize all, and most nutrients escape. This leads us to bioavailability. Bioavailability is the term that describes the amount of drug particles that are able to escape from the liver and enter the bloodstream. Essentially, bioavailability measures the amount of drug particles that escape the police. The remaining particles now need to search for enzymes. Now medicines are just like humans, always trying to find their true love. In doing so, they search for enzymes they can bond with, and once they find their soulmate, they react with it. For example, ibuprofen inhibits an enzyme called cyclooxygenase. This prevents the enzyme from producing a substance known as prostaglandins which cause pain. This is how specific drugs are able to cure specific diseases. As more revolutions take place around the liver, more nutrients get metabolized until all of them have been excreted. Now to the second question. Why do we consume specific doses of the medicine at specific times? Well, studying the breakthrough field of pharmacokinetics has given us answers to this question. When pharmaceutical companies develop a new medicine, they have clinical trials, where they have to test the drug on humans, allowing them to understand the bioavailability of the drug. In doing so, they are able to collect data that reveals how the bioavailability differs from a healthy patient to an unhealthy patient. This allows scientists to determine the specific dosage required for a specific patient. Not following these instructions will lead to a higher concentration of drug nutrients in the body, leading to more reactions with enzymes, eventually causing overdosing and then death. So why else does it matter? PK is the reason we're alive, as without it we wouldn't have any medicine to cure deadly diseases. Pharmacokinetics has also prevented us from using the wrong medicine to cure a disease. In the future, studying pharmacokinetics will lead to more life-saving drugs, allowing the world to be a much safer place.